fears, we surrender our judgments, we surrender our rejections, our disappointments, we surrender our hope that we put in other things, 
We surrender our finances. Father, we need to hear your voice. I just feel like the Father is saying right now, I want to teach you how to rest in my voice. I want to teach you that there's rest even in your expectation. I just feel the Holy Spirit saying, just, just shh for a second. I want to speak to you. I want to speak to you. I want to actually answer your anxious thoughts. I want to answer your worries. I have one for you. Just shh. I want to speak to you. There is reward in resting in his presence. There is as much reward in resting in his presence and worshiping his song as much as there is in a warrior's fight. And so, Father, speak. We're listening. Come on. Come on.
like thunder it shakes my core your words are like precious gold to me oh sweet your voice is like water to my soul your voice is like thunder it shakes my core your words are like precious 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 gold oh spirit I'm in the mystery I'm in the mystery Not in what your eyes can see Holy Spirit, I just pray that you would help us become a people who are okay with the mystery of your spirit who aren't tied to our understanding of who you are but are so open to you showing us new parts of you holy spirit i ask that you would birth in us a new reverence for your voice that it will become the chief value in our lives that the voice of god reigns above all other voices in our lives God, I pray that your voice would reign supreme, that we would become dependent upon your voice. That like Moses, if you don't go with us, we won't go. But if we don't hear your voice, we won't move. I'm listening. But our eyes 
eyes can't see in the mystery you're in the mystery in the mystery out in what our eyes can see you're in the mystery you're in the mystery Forgive us for reducing you down to what our intellect can accept. Forgive us for reducing your Holy Spirit down to what makes sense in our mind. Forgive us, Lord Jesus, for allowing religious barriers to hold us back from experiencing the fullness of the understanding of your spirit because we're so caught up in what we think you are or what we think you should be. What we think your expression should be or what it shouldn't be. But help us just come like a humble child and accept you for who and what you are. Not what our eyes can see in the mystery in the mystery you're in the mystery now what i come against fear you're in the mystery you're in the mystery you're in the mystery not what our eyes can see Your voice is like water to my soul. Your voice is like thunder, it shakes my core. Your words are like precious gold to me. Spirit, speak. Those who keep saying, I can't see a way out. For those who keep saying, there's no way. Even if God did something, it wouldn't make sense. I can't see it. I don't feel it. And for those who find themselves saying, but I'm still here. I'm back again. I'm living paycheck to paycheck again. I fear for my future again. I'm depressed again. I've turned back to my addiction again. Hear his voice in his kindness and in his gentleness. Hear his voice. He's in the unknown. He's in the mystery because the truth is if you can't see it and you can't feel it, that means you don't get to be the one in control. That means you don't get to control what happens. That just means you're primed and prepped and ready for God to do what he only he can do, which is miraculous. And it gives you a testimony. And so right now, just in the name of Jesus, we speak against the negative thoughts and narratives 
that keep your people from experience the goodness and the miraculous of who you are because he's in the mystery when you say I can't see a way he says that's where you're gonna find me when you say but I'm so scared he says that's where you're gonna find me just shh and rest because here I come listen I just feel like the Lord is saying remember your story remember the stories where I did not fail you and start speaking them out right now start praying them out right now remember when he saved you remember when 20 more dollars than you expected showed up there's nothing too little that he can't do and there's nothing too big that he can't do so Holy Spirit is saying right now begin to speak out the stories where he showed up because you're gonna start to remember how you couldn't see it then and he showed up because that's what's gonna happen right now he's in the mystery he's in the unknown he's in the unseen come on Lord so sweet to trust in Jesus just to tell him at his word just to rest upon his promise just to sing the saith the Lord so sweet to trust in Jesus just to tell him at his word just to rest upon his promise just to say the same the Lord to say the say the Lord that's all the proof that I need the say the Lord oh, that's all the evidence I need the say the Lord I don't need extra affirmation the say the Lord oh, when you speak your word it is done oh when you utter a word it's not in vain it is so sweet to trust in Jesus just to rest upon his word just to rest upon his promise just to sing a sing the Lord just to sing a sing the Lord just to sing a sing Oh, worthy is your 
your name Worthy is your name Jesus You deserve the praise Worthy is your name Worthy is your name Jesus You deserve the praise Worthy is your name 
seated on his throne and his robe it fills the temple oh I see the Lord seated on his throne and his robe fills the temple and all around him cry worthy all cry worthy worthy to be seated worthy to be seated worthy to be seated or oh, worthy to be seated worthy to be seated worthy is your name she Jesus, you deserve the praise. Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name. Jesus, you deserve the praise. Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name. Jesus, you deserve the praise, worthy is your name. You're not worthy because of what you've done, but because of who you are. Oh, you're not worthy just because of what you've done, but because of who you are. Just because of who you are. I don't praise you for what you've done for me. I praise you because of who you are. I praise you because of who you are. If you never did a thing for me, you'd still be worthy. If you never did a thing for us, you would still be worthy. You'd still be worthy of eternity's worth of praise If you never did a thing If you never did a thing If you never gave me a blessing You'd still be worthy You'd still be worthy You'd still be worthy You deserve the praise Worthy is your name Worthy is your name Jesus You deserve the praise Worthy is your name Worthy is Jesus says your worship will break your chains the Lord says worship unto him will break off your chains 
the Lord says, worship unto him will break off shackles. So Father, we worship you. We exalt you. And we say with every fiber in our being, worthy is your name. Father God, and we acknowledge that worshiping you, God, exalting you will break off chains and will break shackles that the enemy wants us to believe are here forever. But in the mighty name of Jesus, by just opening our lips, resting in your presence and worshiping your name, chains are broken people are set free the shackle that you feel has bound you for generations after generations after generations in the name of Jesus worshiping him is what breaks you free worthy worthy Psalm 99 verse 5 exalt the Lord our God worship at his footstool holy is he even if you didn't ever did another thing you're still worthy you're still worthy you're still worthy like the Father wants to <laughs> I feel like the Father wants to continue to chisel, chisel away any pride that might be still in the way from that immediate access to his kindness and his forgiveness and his gentleness this false sense of pride that 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 sets as a barrier of, of almost a, a justified feeling of rejection before you're actually rejected. It's a weird pride. Like, you know what will happen, so you're just not gonna do that thing. Like, I just feel like the Lord wants to chisel away pride. That our need to be right would be absolved with our need to be righteous. Let's listen to the Holy Spirit. That our need to be right would be absolved by our need to be righteous. So right now, Father, soften hearts. Soften hearts. I just see his beautiful fatherly hands, just he's getting in there, he's getting in there. 
and I just feel like there's been fear that if he, if, if he gets in there too much he's gonna be mean and he's gonna I won't know who I am without this and so father right now we just submit and I just pray that your gentleness is felt over every room over every car over every every inch of a room that everybody is in right now father god i just pray right now holy spirit drench the presence drench the atmosphere with gentleness and begin to do your work unweave pride and holy spirit we declare that what takes its place is truth is an identity founded in Christ. Hope, love, kindness, security, confidence. Father God, we just declare right now that as you unweave pride, that the replacement is gentle. There's a confidence coming. There's a security coming that some haven't felt before. You've begun to felt it, but you were scared that it was too churchy. You were scared that it was just an emotional moment. You were nervous that it was just religion. But the Father is coming to say, I want that pride out my way. Because I want in. Because who I am, religion doesn't get to tell you. Who I am, an experience doesn't get to define outside of God. Who He is is between you and the Father. It's an experience that He wants to have with you. Not through somebody else, but with you. And so Father, excavate pride and replace with confidence in our identity in who you are. In Jesus. Jesus, come on. Shake up the ground for my tradition. Break down the walls of my religion. Know it's better. Know it's better. Shake up the ground for my tradition. Break down the walls of my religion. Know it's better. Know it's better. Of the ground of all my tradition, break down the walls of all my religion. Your name's better, your name's better.
way is better. You are worthy. You are worthy. Your way is better. Father, I pray right now that every atmosphere would be filled with the sense of patience. That our hearts would find joy in the presence of waiting with you. We're not waiting on you, but that we would wait with you. Father, just begin to renew our minds in the way that we approach you. Father, even in our prayer life. I heard something last week that just spoke to me and I just, I feel like the Lord wants us to, as his people to reach this place that our prayer life is just not a projection of the control that we need. That our prayers would not be mere projections of our need to control everything. Father, right now, just just continue that work in our hearts, that our minds would be set above and that our minds would be renewed, that even in the way that we approach you in prayer would be that we are approaching you. We are with you. We're not coming to you. Father, I just feel like you wanna change that, that way that the church comes. Don't come at you. Don't come at the Father with stuff. Don't come to the Father. Come with Him. He longs for us to be in His presence with Him. Join Him. It's a different relationship when you sit with your Father as opposed to just coming to Him and passing Him by, throwing Him tickets of requests that you need done. Father, may we begin to behave and treat and be in your presence as children. <laughs> as my daughters want to be with me everywhere, whether it's inconvenient or not. They don't care what I'm doing. They just want to be there everywhere. <laughs> Father, may we have that heart. I just want to go with you. Just want to be with you. Even if I don't say anything, even if you don't have anything for me to do, even if you're not going to do anything, I just want to be with you. Because in that place, a child is the safest they'll ever be. A child is the best version of themselves they'll ever be. And a child is just safe to be who they are because they're not expecting anything and they're not being expected of anything. So Father, I pray that we find a rhythm of being in your presence to just be with you. Jesus, we love you. You're worthy. Your way is better. Help us to cling to those truths in our convictions, not just a moment, a momentaneous, <laughs> a motive-driven moment, God. Make it our make it our experience, our conviction.
Father, we just seal up this set, God. Father, we just submit every word, every prayer, every desire. We just submit it to you, Father. And we just seal up every chord, every chorus, every note, every prayer, every yearning in our heart and our spirit for you. We seal it up, God. We love you. And we pray that every time in your presence we're forever changed. In Jesus' name, amen.